in this tutorial let's see how to enter a purchase code so you go to enter purchases and you select here you see there's a code there so you enter code and you select the supplier name in this example let's say cold supermarket yeah so let's say cold supermarket has given us a code so that's the code number something like code one which is on their code and the date of the code something like September. There's no invoice number as of yet. I guess so. Uh, Hundred pence. And you know that this is office supplies. So let's go office supplies. And then here I'm putting like hundred dollars. Okay. If this is NT, is GSC. Let's say GSC. And the important thing we need to remember is tick here. If the total is hundred dollars, and if the tick is on. That means this figure is tax inclusive and the total you will be paying is $100. Sometimes this can be unticked. What I would recommend is tick this one. Always leave it ticked and just put the total amount here and let the system calculate the GST. Okay. If, there, if the GST portion is different, something like $5, you have an option of clicking this white button. Right. It will give you a warning that changing the tax tables would change the bass length. You said, yep, yeah, that's fine let's say okay and change this to five dollars or whatever you see on the code and say okay all right so this is how you enter a code so i'm saving a code and if you want to check you would go to purchase register you would select codes suppliers codes and you would go to quotes and you say yep there is a code which we entered on first of september so you would see all the codes entered but you can see the one we have entered. So in the next tutorial, we'll see how to create a purchase order using this quote.